Gansu Province, once rated as the best travel destination in Asia and the only province in China listed among the top 52 must-visit destinations worldwide, encompasses four-fifths of China's beauty. Why does it receive such high acclaim? After watching this video, it will become clear. Located in the vast northwest. It is where three of China's four major plateaus converge, the Inner Mongolian Plateau, the Lus Plateau, and the Qinghai Tibet Plateau, outlining the diverse topography of Gansu Province. Apart from oceans, Gansu boasts a wide range of landscapes, including snow-capped mountains, grasslands, deserts, forests, lakes, and Danxia landforms. It has it all. In terms of its shape, it resembles a precious jade embedded in the northwest hinterland. Spanning over 10 degrees of latitude from north to south and stretching over 1,600 kilometers from east to west. That's why people often say that Xinjiang is not far away. It's just that Gansu is too long. Sichuan and Shaanxi provinces are only separated by Gansu. Today, we will explore the 13 prefectures of Gansu, experiencing its rich cultural heritage and magnificent natural scenery. First, we arrive at the easternmost part of Gansu, Longdong Granary, and the birthplace of Emperor Qi. Although located in Gansu, it is adjacent to Shaanxi and shares cultural customs with the land of Sanqin. You can see the largest Lus Plateau in the Huangtu Plateau, the Dongji Terrace in Qingyang. It's hard to imagine such vast and flat land on the Lus Plateau. In Qingyang City, you can also find the deepest Lus in the world. Additionally, it is the birthplace of the Zhou and Qin dynasties, where the Yellow Emperor and the founder of traditional Chinese medicine, Qi Bo, discussed medicine. Leaving behind the Huangdi Neijing. The dry wharf on the Longshan, the renowned Mount Kongtong in the world. Next, we come to Pingliang, located at the intersection of the Lus Plateau and the Lupang Mountains, serving as a transitional zone. It is also one of the birthplaces of Chinese civilization. Humans have inhabited this area for hundreds of thousands of years. When mentioning Pingliang, the most famous landmark is Mount Kongtong. Legend has it that Emperor Yao ascended Mount Kongtong and sought advice from Guangchengzi. It is said that Guangchengzi lived for over 1,200 years and practiced Taoism on Mount Kongtong. Tianxue, the birthplace of the Western Han Dynasty and the Pearl of Long, is our next destination. It is known as Qinzhou, the land where the ancestors of the Qin people raised horses. It is here that Zhuge Liang made six expeditions to Qishan and the famous Qishan Road where he confronted Sima Yi. Famous anecdotes such as Ma Su's defeat at Jiting took place on this land, dating back 8,000 years to the Daduan site, are also located here. It is also home to one of China's four great grottos, the Magician Grottos. Legend has it that Tianxue is the birthplace of Fuxi, the ancestor of Chinese civilization. It is also the hometown of the Three Kingdoms famous general, Jiang Wei. And the areas of Tianxue and Dingxi are also the birthplace of the Li family in Longxi, has a close relationship with the prosperous Tang dynasty. Longnan, known as the dragon locking the moon and the Jiangnan of Long is located at the junction of Sichuan, Shaanxi, and Gansu provinces. It is a unique gem in Gansu province. Here, the precipitation is abundant, and the vegetation is lush, completely different from other regions in Gansu province. The picturesque Tianqi Lake, surrounded by green mountains and clear waters. And the flowing waters of Guani Valley throughout the four seasons, along with the towering Dushan mountain range, will make you forget that you are in the inland northwest. It is truly deserving of the title, Jiangnan of Longxi. Known as the, Little Tibet of Longnan, and the, Garden of Gansu, this is Gannan Tibetan Autonomous Prefecture. Located on the northeastern edge of the Qinghai Tibet Plateau, it enriches Gansu with diverse landforms. The prefectural capital is Huzhou. If you feel that Qinghai and Tibet are too far away, then visiting Gannan would be an excellent choice. Jia Jiena Temple, located in the heartland of Gannan, is surrounded by the majestic Dushan mountain range, reaching up to the sky and disappearing into the clouds, creating a particularly serene and profound atmosphere. The plateau landscapes are scattered throughout the region, with the meandering Yellow River flowing through numerous bends in the vast grasslands. In summer, the prairies are covered in a sea of flowers. With its moderate altitude and diverse natural scenery, Gannan is rightly called the Garden of Gansu. Lanzhou, the gateway to the Longzhong Throat, is located in Dingxi, Gansu. It is situated in the heartland of the Lus Plateau and is the source of the Wei River, the largest tributary of the Yellow River. From south to north, 
there is a significant difference in the natural environment. The northern part is a typical Lus Plateau landscape, while the southern side is characterized by the remnants of the Qinling Mountains. Including places like Lundu Beach, showcasing natural landscapes completely different from those of the Lus Plateau. What was once the harshest part of the Lus Plateau has now transformed into a land of green mountains and clear waters. Tihorse Trade and Huangxiong Town are also found here. Linxia, located in southern Gansu, is a major town along the southern Silk Road. It was a crucial pass on the ancient Tongbo Road and an important gathering place for the ancient Chang people. It is also one of the birthplaces of Chinese civilization. When visiting this place, be sure to go to Liujia Gorge and witness the extraordinary Yellow River waters. It is hailed as the Pearl of the Plateau. Due to the construction of the Liujia Gorge hydropower station, a narrow and long river valley has been formed. Here, located at the junction of the Qinghai Tibet Plateau and the Lus Plateau, the peaks on both sides stand tall, presenting a magnificent sight. Lanzhou, the Pearl of the Yellow River, is the capital of Gansu Province. It is situated along the banks of the Yellow River, which flows through the city. It is a city full of a riverine atmosphere. Here, there are no camels or sandstorms. The Yellow River has guarded this important city in the northwest for thousands of years. Lanzhou has a modern urban appearance and retains its simple humanistic charm. When night falls, you can enjoy a bottle of Wangha beer by the Yellow River and savor a glass of black Lanzhou. Immersing yourself in the unique flavors of this city, Bain, the charming city of the same country, is located in Gansu province. It is situated on the northwestern edge of the Lus Plateau, where the Tengyur Desert and the eastern end of the Chilean Mountains converge. Throughout history, it has been an important border town with constant military activities. The Huanghe Stone Forest, located within the boundaries of Bain, is hailed as one of the 50 scenic spots of the Yellow River. The combination of the desert stone forest, the Gobi Oasis, and the Yellow River has formed a naturally stunning spectacle. In the vast Gobi Desert, there is also the Yongtai Guicheng, a pearl of the Silk Road. Wuwei, the city of poetry, painting, and military prowess, is located in Gansu Province. It was one of the four counties in the Hushi region in ancient times and was also known as Liangzhou. Wuwei is a name that everyone is familiar with, as Wang Jihuan's famous poem about Liangzhou has been passed down through the ages. The Chang flute need not blame the willows, for the spring breeze doesn't cross human pass. The name, Wuwei, was given by Emperor Wu of the Han Dynasty to honor the military achievements and prestige of General Huo Tzubing. The symbol of Chinese tourism, the galloping horse treading on a flying swallow, originated from the Han tomb at the Leitai platform in Wuwei. It also depicts the majestic Majiayo Snow Mountain, which is covered in snow all year round, like a green sleeve washed by the snow. The grasslands and rich cultural heritage complement each other here. Jinchang, the divine and beautiful city, is located in Gansu province. It is one of the important nodal cities along the ancient Silk Road, connecting the Chilean Mountains, Hushi Corridor, and the Tengyur Desert. It is abundant in mineral resources and is also a famous energy city in China. The copper nickel polymetallic ore here has the second largest reserves in the world, making it an emerging industrial city. Despite being located in the heart of the vast Gobi Desert, it is also a northwestern town with a high greening rate. Zhangya, known as Ganzhou in ancient times, and Jiuquan, formerly known as Suzhou, are the cities from which Gansu province derived its name. Zhangya is known as Golden Zhangya, and it is situated in the heartland of the Hushi Corridor, where the Chilean mountains have been nourished by perennial ice and snow for thousands of years. Hence, ancient writings say, if you don't see snow on the Chilean mountains, you mistake Ganzhou for Jiangya. It also boasts the colorful Danxia landforms, which are renowned both domestically and internationally. The fertile resources nurtured by the melting snow and water from the snow-capped mountains during the Han Dynasty include the Shandan Military Horse Ranch, founded by General Huo Tzubing, which is the oldest military horse ranch in the world. It is also representative of the grassland scenery in Zhangya. Yuquan, with its ancient Silk Road vibes and majestic pass, is located in Gansu Province. Wall during the Ming Dynasty the Great Wall has three major wonders, Jiuquan Pass in the west, Zenbiatai in the middle, and Shanhaiguan in the east. What we see now is the city gate of Jiuquan, set against the snowy Chilean mountains, appearing particularly magnificent and grand. It is also the largest pass on the existing Great Wall. Jiuquan, traversing through millennia, is located in Jiuquan City, Gansu Province. It was known as Suzhou in ancient times. The Alton Mountains and Chilean Mountains converge here. 
To the north lies the vast and desolate Black Gobi Desert, while to the west, roads lead to the Darin Basin. Yangguan and Yumen Pass, these well-known frontier fortresses, are also situated within the boundaries of Jiuquan City. It is located on the western side of the Hushi Corridor, an important node for ancient travel to the western regions. The blending of eastern and western cultures in the city has left behind numerous famous historical sites such as the Mogeo Grottoes and the Crescent Spring. It condenses the essence of the ever-changing world and showcases the splendor of the new era. This is Gensu.